What's up everybody, it's Braden from Motor Biscuit, and if you thought for one second that you couldn't take your Hellcat on an off-road adventure, you're wrong. It just has to be a Durango, which would have been a problem. However, they were very limited edition for one year originally, and now Dodge is bringing them back, which has actually sparked a lawsuit. If you want more information on that, we made a video about it, so you can check it out in the top right corner, the link in the description. But before you do that, let's take a look at this thing that Dodge has here, the booth at SEMA. Now sure, you don't have the same ground clearance as something like a Ram TRX, but most SUVs, including the Durango SRT Hellcat, have decent ground clearance. And if you do a little scraping, that's fine. It's an SUV, right? You can see they've got some off-road lights. So you can make sure you can see where you're going at night, which is what lights are for. After you arrive at wherever it is you're going, you can have yourself a nice seat with this crazy awning and table and camp chair set up. You can even cook yourself a nice little barbecue meal. So as you can see from the graphic here on the side of this thing, it was actually uh, conceptualized by Hemmings and brought together with Dodge in collaboration. It's called Project Rampart. They built it influenced by people who are considered racetrack enthusiasts. And what could be more fun as a racetrack attendee camping in the pits than having your towing and camper vehicle have 700 horsepower and 645 pound-feet of torque? Nothing really, except for having a workbench attached to it. If only. Oh wait, actually. This slide-out tray here has a 1,000 pound capacity, so it's great for cargo storage and pulling things out that are heavy and also serves as a workbench when you, uh, you know, inevitably break something at the track. And that's all well and good. There's actually a lot more features towards the camping side of things that we need to get into too. Now you can see the roof rack behind me, but what isn't as apparent is that there's a solar system up there. And this build actually features a Super 73 e-bike that you can charge with the solar roof rack. So it really is kind of a complete adventure package. No worries if you're short too, because there's a ladder here. You can access everything you need to stow away. This Durango serves as a reminder that anything can be an off-road adventuring, overland vehicle, towing adventure, whatever you want it to be. If you need any inspiration, you might want to get yourself a Dodge Durango Hellcat if you're looking for a new off-road and towing vehicle. However, you might struggle to get one because they're sort of limited. Thank you for tuning in to another Motor Biscuit video. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Motor Biscuit Official. Follow us on Twitter at Biscuit Motor. And if for anything and everything automotive content related, be sure to visit MotorBiscuit.com. For now, I'm Braden Carlson. We'll see you guys in the next one.